now I'm going to go back into some of the settings that are included in deliverables management. I'm going to start with the general settings, which to access your settings, you will go, of course, your administration, where I already am, and you'll select a deliverables management. The first section is just general settings, and you have the option here to copy settings from an existing organization. If you do this, you will be allowed to access any projects that you have rights to the deliverable management settings, and uh, it will give you the list that you can choose from. These are all the projects that I could import my settings from. What is important to remember here is the live project, the settings you already have identified, they will take precedence over what you import. And uh, you can also copy from an external organization if you are granted rights to that, to any of their projects, where you can just copy your settings up and make everything sync up between the two projects. The next area I want to cover is identification. And this is basically allows you to make it user-friendly to your uh, users about how you want things to be identified. You can modify this like this is a transmittal, that is an outgoing RFI, and that is a general correspondence. You can change these from the TR to transmittal for more clarity. You would make that change and you would hit your accept button to do that, such as I am about to, about to demonstrate. So now when an outgoing transmittal goes out, it's going to have the project name, it's going to identify it as a transmittal, and this is the number assigned to the transmittal. This increments with each transmittal that goes out. You also have the option to create classifications for your uh, transmittals. Like you can set one that's classified that would allow you to mark it, well, it would allow you to mark the transmittal as classified just for identification as a notifier to the users that this is classified information, it's for your eyes only. The next area I want to cover is the scheduling. You can set deliverables management out to send notifications on scheduled periods like acknowledgement, default due date. It's, you're required to uh, acknowledge after two days. You're required to respond after 14 days. You can change these to whatever timing you would like. And you have the same opportunity for uh, RFIs and general correspondence. And this, you have built-in directions on how to uh, modify these things for extra notes. The next area I would like to cover is the distribution matrix. There is a document you can download from here to uh, set up your distribution, which is this file right here. And mine has already been modified and set up where you can add for whichever role, you, like role one is the DM admin. So I've got my three admin users set up and the rights they have and what roles they need. You, these, this spreadsheet includes built-in directions and it has a key for uh, what the different validation criteria are. Once you get this set up the way you would like, you come in and you upload And if you have everything set up correctly, it checks the spreadsheet and brings it in. If you have an error, it will notify you that there's an error in your spreadsheet that you need to go back and fix, which you would rely on the help tab and the validation data tab. This is handy if you have a lot of users and you just want to push out your changes all at once rather than setting them out, setting them up one at a time. The next area that I'm going to cover is notifications. This just allows you to edit each of the notifications that goes out and change your wording, add you know, imagery and things like that for each of the different kind of uh, notifications that is sent out. And this comes into play later. I just wanted to point it out while I'm here. This uh, can be used to uh, bypass some spam filters for your company, which that is covered later on. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.